Thompson Divide is a 221,500 acre piece of federal land that is both publicly and privately used and owned. The divide is used in many ways like hunting, camping, farming, biking, hiking, skiing, and raising cattle. Currently, multiple oil and natural gas companies are looking to, to begin drilling in the Thompson Divide. Drilling would negatively affect the environment, recreation, and economy of the town of Carbonet, Colorado, and the surrounding valley. For the environment, the Thompson Divide spans 15 watersheds that provides clean water to many of the surrounding areas for agricultural and domestic use in the Crystal, Roaring Fork, and Colorado River Valleys. With access to these watersheds, it makes the region one of the most productive in terms of farming and agriculture in the nation. There are more than 8,000 acres of farmland currently in use that use these watersheds, and this would, could all be affected by drilling if it were allowed to happen. It's also a, you know, a source of watershed. Um, I live up in Crystal Valley, literally on the other side, just over the ridge from Thompson Divide. So the water is super important to me. Um, our house is on a spring. You know, the last thing I'd want to do is for anything to happen with that or for that to get contaminated. Like a lot of those water users south of Carbondale, because that that can be their source, would be impactful. So folks, residents of the Crystal River Valley, um, ranchers that are up there that draw their irrigation water from. Yeah, beautifully pristine area. Um, and I guess that's kind of my lasting uh, um, lasting memory and my earliest memory up there. And uh, of course it uh, remains that way today. Mm -hmm. Thompson Divide supports hunting, fishing, camping, climbing, skiing, and many other recreational activities. Many of these recreational activities would be compromised with the vast amount of drilling that is to occur. Local climbing locations like the Fins and Skiria areas such as Spring Gulch would become harder to access and lose pristine wildlife and greenery. You know, there's biking trails, there's hiking trails, there's rock climbing. Um, it's a great public use area, there's a ton of hunting, um, there's the grazing, ride. you know. It actually brings a lot because it's a place that I've grown up with and recreated. Uh, my father used to work right near that area and for my whole life we've been doing all sorts of things up there, whether it be just hanging out or cross country skiing or looking for firewood or target practice. <laughs> In terms of revenue, the Thompson Divide brings in $30 million a year for the state and provides 300 jobs. Ranches alone represent 64 of these jobs and $11.3 million of revenue. Recreation brings in $12.6 million and supports 138 jobs. Um, what's going on and uh, the importance of the area to the local economy um, as it is now. There's a lot of outfitters that operate up there. There's a lot of grazing leases. So it's an important contributor to the local economy as it is. And that's one of the issues uh, that um, um, groups like the Wilderness Workshop and the Thompson Divide Coalition uh, have uh, been trying to get out is that um, you know, this is an important economic engine for our community and that uh, if any anything happens with those leases and drilling is allowed to occur, that that could impact that. This issue has also brought the community together by having them fight for something they love. We can see how much people in this valley enjoy the Thompson Divide and want to see it protected. Many people have made protests to show their discontent over this issue. People don't want to see this go away and want to protect this beautiful piece of land that we are to blessed with. To get involved, with. you can visit SaveThompsonDivide.org, donate to the Thompson Divide Coalition, or write letters to the BLM requesting to keep the divide untouched by big gas and oil companies.
we need to stand together united to protect and preserve the land and lifestyle of the Thompson Divide.